Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Lorgan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Feel free to look around the temple, but fair warning. The investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Dwarf, drift in red. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Tunnel from the cellar. Refuge. A poison blade. Paralysis. Hiding Brilgor from fists. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. It'll happen. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. What do you want to know? I reckon Investigator Valeria is right. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Lorgan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. We give them everything, and all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Corpse regards you lifelessly. Dwarf, red clothes, stranger, tunnels beneath temple, 
hidden from sight. Concealed buttons. Lorgan opened for me. Pierced. Once. Paralyzed. Yes. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Let me guess, you need something. Something over there. Seek and you shall find me. The path less traveled. broken mind could create such a sick scene as this. A lot of surprises. Caked in blood. This must be the instrument of Logan's mother. <laughs> the corpse regards you lifelessly. No. tries to speak, but something prevents it. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Flophouse. Dolor's secrets. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Sir, good, sir. Give me three days and... Oh, I... Apologies. Thought you were someone else. Uh, greetings, so forth, so on. How dare you? Accusing an upstanding citizen like me of being a dwarf? I'm a halfling, you oaf. Blood by the bed, a lot of it.
The shapeshifters flooded these tunnels by the looks of it. And is that Father Logan's name? The case closed, another bottle open! Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a sec. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I'll bet she's put you up to something. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? <sighs> I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? That doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Logan? I need something more than vague allegations. I want something compelling. Hard, tangible evidence, and nothing less. That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? No, I want proof. If someone else killed Logan, I want you to tell me why they did it. Really? You as well? Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy codswallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, <sighs> fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? Well, if that's true, that sounds dreadful. That complicated. As if this cult of the absolute wasn't enough to worry about. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Well? What are you waiting for? You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! Blood you noticed earlier still remains on the floor. You notice the blood source. A body hidden under the bed. Raphael a visit. Your pleasure is mine, sweeting. Murdered! Ye gods, the poor thing! Oh, 
by the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. They'll miss that face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. Sweeting. This is Baldur's Gate. I've seen more murders than a butcher's right eye. There'll be time for tears. Cruel as it is, I must turn my mind to business. Or, more precisely, the lack of it. I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Talk with the drow twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they're your gift from the Mamselle, and let them show you why. Anything else on your mind, sweetie? Nisha, our lovely nymph. But she's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment. A temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. Indeed he did. Raphael. Exceedingly handsome and with a voice that could make... Hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Metzley's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Oh, they do look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury. I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzley. And I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. I must say, if this is a practical joke, it's not very amusing. Why, a serial killer? Oh, that's terrible. Master Metzley, are you quite all right? It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have sullied it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face. And I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. can't believe why would anyone want to kill me thank you for saving us It's unusual for prey to supply the tools of its own butchery. Razors, scissors, nail files. So many cuts one couldn't make. And yet, such a fleeting window. But then, who am I to deny the auspices of destiny? For we are celebrating, Master Figaro. You have the delicious honor of being my crowning achievement. 
Your body is my ultimate gift to my lord, Bar. Together, we shall transcend. Challenger, my lord tests me. This pity is awful. Will be your grave, Challenger. I, will... I don't know who you are, but I'm glad you were there. If it had been the dwarf alone, we might have stood a chance. But these doppelgangers. Oh, they swarmed us. We were paralyzed before we even had the chance to fight back. A rising star, you say? Then there's more of these nutters running around. <laughs> I thought as much. Devella Fountainhead. Constable of the Flaming Fist. I've been investigating the recent spate of murders across the city. I was on my way to the Upper City when I heard a commotion. I stepped in to see if I could help. It's not every day you have the chance to catch a killer in action. Not even in this profession. Now, if you don't mind, I need to draft a report to my superiors before I forget it all. But don't worry. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you. killers paralyze their victims, take their hands as an offering for Baal, and make it look like the cult of the Absolute was behind it all. You've seen those gruesome dioramas that have been springing up, right? Corpses posed like unholy paintings, blood everywhere. There's no way in the hells that those scenes and these murders aren't connected. <laughs> and I think I know what the connection is. He ruled the Iron Throne, a dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, he amassed an army, seeking to become a god himself. Under his stewardship, the Baal Temple was revived, and with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed, and to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chiumthar. For most, that was the end of it. <laughs> but cults like that don't disappear overnight. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. God save us all if you're right. But I believe it. Whoever it is. They are intimately familiar with Saravok's work. The brutality of the killings is on a par with Saravok's own. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts. The depth, the execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me. I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. You really are a godsend. 
Meet me at Basilisk Gate if you've anything more to report. Password is Sicarius. Let's beat feet to Candle Hallow. door has red text on it reading all are waited all are embraced none shall escape Present me well from gifts thine own, or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. A grasping hand, an offering vile. Enter now the dread lord's trial. You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His faithful departed. This man is known to all Baldurians, and his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach. Before you is Saravok Anchev, a barlist who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. This is the court of the dread. Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal.
out of here! Citizen, thank the gods you're here. My wrinkles are starting to chafe. As an officer of the law, I demand you free me at once. Thanks for freeing me so quickly. No idea what those Baalist Burks had planned with me, but those chains were starting to chafe. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I... Uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Well, at least it's over now. You might not be finished. I am. It's plain to see that I'm well out of my depth here. But you... well, you gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have what I don't. Courage, insight, heroism. The city needs you. I overheard these pigs talking. There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity that the cult is using. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic sorts. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? This place is foul as piss. I'm out of here. <laughs>